Hello, my name is Philip Knapik and I'm a product manager for Cloud Composer. A properly established support or operations process for any system involves automatic notifications whenever things don't go as planned. Or put differently, we don't want to be watching the health or status of the service continuously. Instead, we would like to get notified whenever things don't go as planned. Specifically looking into Composer and Airflow, for example, we would like to get notified whenever our DAGs are failing. What we're going to walk you through in this tutorial is how to set automatic email notifications on DAG run failures. The goal is to get email notifications similar to this one whenever there is a failed DAG in our project across different composer environments that may run in the same project. This is how we're going to do it. So we're going to be using cloud monitoring, including its features of alerting policies and emails, email notifications. The way it's going to work is that we're going to be continuously looking into the metrics that Cloud Composer generates anyway, and we're going to create an alert policy that checks whether the status of those DAG runs equals to failed, which implies a failed DAG run. If so, we're going to trigger an email notification and get notified over email with details of a failed DAG run. Let's get started. First, go to Cloud Console and search for alerting. Under alerting, please click on alerting monitoring. First thing we're going to need to do is to create a notification channel, which will be the way for our model to communicate with us and give us details about a failed DAG run. So let's hit on edit notification channels and put the details of an email address where we would like to get notified on a failed DAG run. And let's also give it a name. Then we need to create a policy that is going to be triggering the notification. Let's hit on create policy under alerting in the monitoring part of the Cloud Console. Then under metrics, let's search for composer and under Cloud Composer workflow, let's expand it. By the way, you may sometimes need to uncheck show only active resources and metrics specifically if you haven't used Composer in a particular project because those wouldn't be shown otherwise. Once we click on Cloud Composer workflow, we're going to see different metrics. Specifically under workflow, there is a metric with workflow runs. This metric corresponds to number of DAG runs in an environment. However, we don't want to get notified for just any DAG run. We want to get notified on those DAG runs that are considered failed. Therefore, we have to create a filter that is going to narrow down the number of DAG runs to those that are failed. So to do that, let's click on Add Filter. Let's filter by state. Then let's use regex uh, comparator and put failed. Or you can also go for equal sign and pick failed from a dropdown if you already have those items in your project. Either way is fine. This will definitely work with a regex formula and failed word. Now, we want to be notified uh, whenever the count of failed DAG runs is greater than zero. So this is why as a rolling window function, we're going to use count because we want the filter and the alerting policy to react to the count of failed DAG runs. The condition for triggering a notification for us is whenever the number of failed DAG runs is above zero, which essentially means any DAG run. If you have some tolerance, like for example, there could be five failed DAG runs per five minutes or so, you may bump this number a bit higher. But if we want to get notified on any failed DAG runs, let's keep it at zero. Then let's just say, use notification channel for the alerting policy we have created. And let's pick the notification channel we have created a few steps before. Let's name the alert to whatever we like and hit next. And that's it. From here, from here on, any failed DAG run in this project is going to trigger an alert notification over email to our inbox. Obviously, you can create a filter that also narrows it down, for example, to a specific environment, because right now this alerting policy would react to any composer environment in this particular project. Thank you very much.